Careful, this video may contain spoilers. Ever since news broke that the DCEU is no more and will instead have to make room for the new DC Universe, the rumor mill has been on fire. And now Zachary Levi has responded at last to the Shazam recast rumor amid the DC shakeup. James Gunn also puts an end to the recasting theories. Joker 2 has gotten the perfect working title and more. So stay tuned to get all the details. But let's get started with Zachary Levi responding to Shazam recast rumors amid DC shakeups. Now that it's known that Henry Cavill's time is super Superman is officially over in the new DC Universe, the rumor mill has been going crazy with reports that the same fate is coming for other DC actors, including Zachary Levi's future is hanging in the balance. At the moment, Levi will still reprise his role as Shazam in David F. Sandberg's Shazam! Fury of the Gods. It's set to be released in March 2023. In the highly anticipated sequel, Billy Batson and his Shazam! family will go up against their next big threat, the Daughters of Atlas. Before James Gunn and Peter Safran took over DC Studios, it was generally assumed that Shazam 3 was going to happen as well. But with Cavill leaving the franchise and all the other changes under the new leadership, the existence of the entire Shazam franchise, which began back in 2013, has been thrown into doubt. It's been confirmed that the new Superman movie will be focused on a young Clark Kent during his early days in Metropolis. This would suggest that the entire DCU is getting a reboot. But Gunn has recently hinted that Gal Gadot may not be done as Wonder Woman after all, which seems to suggest that Levi's Shazam won't necessarily have to be recast at all. As far as Levi himself is concerned, he said that we really wouldn't go believing everything you see on the internet, gently reminding us that not everything we read or hear is true. While this by no means confirms that Levi's future is safe, if Levi isn't worried, maybe we shouldn't be either. Next up, James Gunn puts an end to recasting theories. Ever since James Gunn and Peter Safran have stepped up to the plate, there's been a lot of confusion and contradicting news surrounding the future of the DC Universe. While Gunn himself has tried to dismiss the false news, including that he's planning to recast everyone who is currently in the DCU. But so far, he hasn't been able to calm the collective mind of the DC fandom. However, Gunn has finally taken to Twitter to put the recasting rumors down for good, saying that they currently have no plans of doing such a thing. I keep seeing posts with this untrue theory. We're not recasting everyone except the Suicide Squad, Gunn said in response to a user who questioned the status of the actors that made up the DCEU. There are have also been whispers that the only projects that Gunn previously helmed would keep their current casts, while the rest would be put through a refurbishment. But Gunn and Safran have remained that the only recasting that will be done will only be done for the sake of better fitting the future that Gunn and Safran are hoping to create for the DC Universe. While it seems like Gunn is keeping his story vague enough so a complete reboot of the universe is not totally out of the question, but then again, at this point, it seems highly unlikely that they'll actually start from scratch. Generally, Gunn has been treating his friends and family pretty well, which is why he keeps recasting Sean Gunn, Jennifer Holland, and Michael Rooker in everything he does. Maybe we've been a little too pessimistic? And now, Joker 2 has just gotten the perfect working title. A new behind-the-scenes picture of the set of Joker, Folly Adu, has revealed the working title of DC's upcoming Joker 2. The sequel to the Academy Award-winning DC origin story will see Joaquin Phoenix reprise his role as Arthur Fleck once again, with Lady Gaga, Brendan Gleeson, and Katherine Keener, also game for the upcoming sequel. Production on Joker 2 started in December 2022, but so far the plot of the sequel has been kept under close wraps. However, the running theory is that Joker, Folly Adu, will focus on the origin romance between the Joker and his ultimate partner in crime, Harley Quinn. And now the working title of Joker 2 has been revealed. This theory seems to be spot on. The picture in question was reportedly taken on the set of Joker, Folly Adu, via at the real drama, who shared the picture on their Instagram. It shows the name Juliet framed by the silhouette of two people who seem to be dancing together, matching the logo that was revealed in the first teaser trailer that was released for Joker 2. There are several reasons why Juliet as the working title for Joker, Folly Adu, is actually the perfect choice. In case you didn't know, Todd Phillips' Joker went into production with the working title, Romeo. Given the fact that Juliet will be a direct sequel to Joker, it just makes sense. The two working titles together obviously pay homage to Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, and seems to suggest that Joker 2 will indeed be a love story. 
story, as far as that's possible with the Joker. What do you think this working title says about the upcoming Joker 2? Hold it, there's more to come. Next, Black Adam star breaks silence after Dwayne Johnson's DC Universe exit. Will Barry Keegan's Joker make an appearance in the Batman sequel? And why James Gunn's upcoming Superman movie will be the most important? Keep watching until the end of this video if you want to find out more. So let's continue. First up, Black Adam star breaks silence after Dwayne Johnson's DC Universe exit. Just a few months after the release of Black Adam, Dwayne The Rock Johnson announced that he was taking a step back from his role in the DC Universe as the studio was looking to pump new life into the story. Johnson's cryptic comments on his own exit being a bit messy, in which he only admitted to having the guts to fail after he witnessed his passion project perform the way it did. And now, while we're still processing the breakup, one of The Rock's Black Adam co-stars has shared his own thoughts on the matter. Noah Centineo opened up about the situation in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, addressing the changes that are taking place in the DC Universe, especially after Johnson's announcement that he won't be coming back. While he admitted that he couldn't speak to any of the Johnson situation, Centineo trusts that James Gunn and Peter Safran know what they're doing, and even if the aftermath of Black Adam isn't exactly ideal, the actor had a great time working on the project, adding that he's never enjoyed four consecutive months of shooting as much as he did working on Black Adam. Centineo also made sure that he gave The Rock credit where it was due as well. Even if he couldn't really comment on his exit, he set the tone and not just the cast, but everyone involved in it. We were constantly going to dinners and spending time with each other, the actor said. Whatever may have happened behind the scenes, it doesn't sound like there were any serious problems while shooting. Next, will Barry Keegan's Joker make an appearance in the Batman sequel? The Batman's universe hasn't just been secured, but is on its way to expanding with several sequels and spinoffs. This begs the question, will Barry Keegan continue to portray the Joker? Keegan himself has shared his thoughts on the odds of his reprisal before, especially because his Joker was barely even seen in the final cut of the Batman, and his participation even went uncredited in the 2022 movie. This is what initially kickstarted the doubts about Keegan's future in the Robert Pattinson-led franchise. The actor opened up about his hopes to return as the Joker in a recent appearance on Happy Sad Confused, a podcast hosted by Josh Horowitz. The actor was asked once again whether he would get another shot at portraying the villain in the Batman sequel. Obviously, I'd love another crack. I've got a ton of back work done on him, Keegan answered, adding that he has a little half moleskin book that he's written a lot in already and that he wants to show the world what that is. After the Batman made its theatrical debut, Matt Reeves described Keegan's Joker as a pre-Joker Joker, claiming that he only appeared in the Batman for the sake of Paul Dano's The Riddler, and Keegan himself remains hopeful that his Joker has the potential to appear alongside Pattinson and Colin Farrell in The Penguin. In other words, we may not have seen the last of Keegan's Joker just yet. Would you like to see him reprise his role as well? And lastly, why James Gunn's upcoming Superman movie will be the most important. James Gunn is currently working on the script for the upcoming Superman reboot, and the stakes are high. The upcoming Superman movie is supposed to reshape the DCEU, which will truly be the DC Universe by then, and that could either be very good or very bad. Superman has long been one of the world's most iconic and beloved heroes, and if the executives of Warner Brothers Discovery are to be pleased, the reboot better be both a commercial and critical success. This won't be easy, and not just because this will be the third iteration of Superman Clark Kent to hit the big screen in the 21st century alone. And that's without counting the two renditions on the CW. And let's not forget 2013's Man of Steel. And everything that followed within the DCEU was the first attempt at reaching the same legendary universe-building heights of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But despite all their efforts, 9 out of 10 spots on the top 10 highest-grossing movies of all time are still held by Marvel Studios Productions for the last decade or so. One of the reasons the MCU has been such a success was the casting of very strong actors to uphold their characters. So it's going to be vital for Gunn to not just write an incredible script, but to find the perfect next Superman as well. Because if they don't, everything will have been for naught. Who do you think would be capable of carrying the new DCU into a bright future? And that's it for now. Are you convinced that Gunn won't throw everything that he's inherited away? Let us know in the comments what you think. And thanks for watching.